Should you be afraid of the Flipper Zero? The Flipper Zero itself is just a small handheld device you can use for your own convenience. The most useful features on it can be used to help yourself throughout the day. You could record your own remote control on it. If you ever lose it, you will have one. You could record your car key fob on it and maybe open your car a few times, depending on how many times you recorded the car key fob. Many more features can be done with the Flipper Zero. Now, we are also gonna talk about how many of those features are actually dangerous and how dangerous are they really? So highlighting four features the Flipper Zero can do that are considered dangerous, I'm gonna talk about Wi-Fi stuff, cloning the card, NFC technologies, infrared signals, and recording radio signal frequencies. The very first one I'm gonna talk about is the Wi-Fi enhancements through the GPIO pins that are found on the other side of the Flipper Zero. Now, I have a video already about Wi-Fi stuff with the Flipper Zero. I'm gonna keep this to a theoretical level in this video. Attacking Wi-Fi or emulating another Wi-Fi access router or de-authenticating access points, some of those are illegal. De-authentication is a thing that the Flipper Zero can do, but it can also do a bunch of other things using different kind of GPIO pins and software attached to it. There have been released a lot of different devices, also from a guy called Just Call Me Coco, you can buy for the Flipper Zero. You can even find many of the things on Tindy and get them shipped to you, ready to use. The Flipper Zero attachment board, the Wi-Fi developer board, as you can see on the screen right now, is the official Wi-Fi board you can attach to your Flipper Zero. You can install different kind of things on it, like the Marauder and different kind of other firmware you can find. You can also develop your own firmware for the Wi-Fi developer board and install that directly on it. How powerful it is? Well, it's not really a big antenna there is on the board, so the distance is kind of small. However, you can buy other GPIO boards with an actual antenna that's gonna make the distance a well a great deal longer so what can you actually do with these kind of boards now the processing power on the flipper zero is really bad so using it to crack passwords or do stuff that require actual processor power it's gonna be a big no-no using this unit if you want to do something serious with the things that you captured, well, then you're going to need to put that on an actual computer with more processing power or even on a computer with a really a big graphic card where you can extract the power from that to do whatever you would like to do. Cloning NFC, near field communication. You can clone different kind of cards. People commonly talk about you can use the Flipper Zero to clone credit cards. I even created a video where I talk about how you can clone a credit card with the Flipper Zero. Even though that it is possible to take the card's information, you cannot get the security code which is on the card using the Flipper Zero. So you cannot clone a card and pay at the payment machine with a Flipper Zero. It is possible to clone key cards for hotel rooms or small saves or weird boxes that require some sort of small, you know, NFC, near field communication, smart tech, whatever you're gonna call it, and beep, you can actually open it. It is possible to clone some of them using the Flipper Zero, but it's actually not that easy because when reality kicks in, many of them just doesn't work with the Flipper Zero. So there is many different kinds of technologies out there. Some of them are, it do require some sort of encryption or decryption for work, 
Well, the Flipper Zero is really bad at this, but if it's in within the Flipper Zero technologies of what it can read, then definitely you can use the Flipper Zero and you're gonna try and clone the keycard. Using the Flipper Zero to emulate remote controls, turn off TVs, turn on and off some device with a infrared receiver, you know, that is a clear possibility with the Flipper Zero. There are many different kind of apps you can download for the Flipper Zero and you can just use the small, you can see right there, this is the, the black window-like surface right there, it's the infrared sender. Now, you can also receive infrared signals. Anyways, if you're gonna go ahead and use this to turn off a television, for example, it is really easy. The Flipper Zero can turn off many different kind of televisions and other kind of devices that have this infrared receiver. If you can even record the signal from the actual remote, then you can save it on your Flipper Zero and just replay it or you say resend the signal. That is what essentially the infrared stuff can be used for on the Flipper Zero. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the radio signal frequency. You, know, you can record different kind of things like a car key or something in the air being sent and you can record it on the Flipper Zero. There are a few frequency ranges you can record and some of them can be used for this or that. You can open, if you can record like people opening their own electric carport door then you can record it with the flipper zero and you can open it or close it it does require you to be in the vicinity of a signal being sent i mean really close it will look really suspicious you standing there and doing your thing well people probably heard about the device these days some probably haven't a lot probably haven't but anyways it will look weird you standing like this oh let me record your signal um anyways that is what the radio frequency can be used for. There are also many different kind of other appliances I could talk about. So to keep the video just short to a certain point, to prove the point I have in this video, this is what I'm gonna highlight. So getting to the point of the video is, is this actually just a toy? Now let's define what a toy is. You know, in my definition, a toy is something that is fun, you can play with, have a good day, you know, waste some time, let time pass by, you know, let your mind wander, use your imagination, be creative and stuff like that. All these things actually apply to the Flipper Zero, but it applies to many other things also like driving a car, for example, would people would say would fit those things I just said perfectly, even watching a movie or just, you know, recording a video for YouTube. So is that actually a toy then? A computer with a camera or a car? Is that a toy? Well, the thing is, in the real world, let me just say it that way, we say things are toys for kids. When it's used by grown-ups, it is no longer a toy, then it's a practical appliance or something like that. Now, the difference isn't really that great. So, is the Flipper Zero really a toy? I would say, depending on who you are, it is a toy or not. So, let me also ask the question, is some of this actually a problem it can do? Um, I would say, not really. So the things it can do, it does in a way, but not that great. It is small, it is handheld, you can have it in your own hand like this, and it can do these things. So you can get a feeling of what it is to work with Wi-Fi, how it is to clone a card, how it is to send infrared signals, and how it is to record a radio frequency signal. You can get the feel of that with the Flipper Zero. You can get the, oh, that is how it's done. And I truly understand that in some occasions you could say, but it can do the same as 
powerful tools can do? Well, to a certain degree, you could say like they have the same kind of functionality, but they doesn't really do it the same way. Because at the end of the day, specialized tool for Wi-Fi penetration testing is just a lot more powerful with a real operating system, with a real interface, with a keyboard, a mouse, human interaction software, processing power, graphic card power, and so on. All the things that does not fit into the category of the Flipper Zero. So I would definitely say that just to make it more easy for you, let's call it a toy for now. It is just a toy, a thing to play with. Can it bring actual harm in the world? I do not believe it can do that. Many other things out there can do exactly the same thing. And some of them are actually good to just showcase. As I stated earlier also in some of the other videos is that the Flipper Zero is really great for just showing things, how it works, you know. What can you do with a small handheld device to bring, let's call it, awareness to people in their minds about there are actually things out there that are a lot more powerful and a lot more scary than this small toy. So I'm going to end the video on saying that if you want your Flipper Zero, go ahead and buy it from the website. You would probably find it fun a few times, but if you're going to go out there and turn off televisions and open people's Tesla charges and call yourself a hacker, you know, I would definitely call that a script kiddies mindset. And you're never going to really become a hacker if you're going to stay with that mindset. So you have to upgrade yourself. And if you want to do that, I highly suggest you go and watch some more of my videos because I'm not really the type that put myself into small handheld devices. I like to bring awareness of these devices to the internet for free. Everyone can read and watch about it. But if you want to learn about hacking and penetration testing or security, I have so many more videos on my channel that will teach you a lot of stuff in that area. So I really hope to see you online. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell notification below to get any new notification from whenever I upload a video. So I want to say thank you for watching this video and see you again online.